We are beginning uh, January 2023, F2. Moving on to question number 1A. We have to find d cube dy by dx cube for the given expression. For this expression. So at first, we need this. We need to remember that the integral of 3 by 5 plus 3x dx is ln f plus 3x. You can also remember the derivation of this directly, but you can also relate it with this. You would have learned this in P3. It's known as the substitution shortcut or reverse chain rule if you haven't looked into it. At first we have to find dy by dx, so let's, it's just gonna be this expression over here. Now moving on to d square y by dx square, we have to write this as, we have to write dy by dx like this and then use the uh, chain rule to differentiate this. We consider this as u and use the reverse chain rule. My bad, not the reverse chain rule, we'd be using the chain rule here. So we get this expression and simplify this further. Now moving on to these for the third derivative of y with respect to x, we'd have to differentiate this. We'd also have, we'd have to use the chain rule again. So minus 9 into minus 2 minus 2 is from this power and then if we differentiate 5 plus 3x we get 3 so we bring this 3 outside basically using the chain rule again and we get this expression over here that's it with part a now moving on to part b we need to use the maclaurin series to find the ex series expansion of ln 5 plus 3x in ascending powers of x up to x cube up to x cube so we have to remember we we would have this in the formula booklet provided during your examinations the maclaurin series which goes like this so basically f of x is f of 0 plus x time f prime of 0 f prime of 0 meaning the first derivative of f of x then we'll have the second derivative times x square by 2 factorial we would have already done things like this in expansion and in binomial expansion beforehand and it goes like this so we already have the equations of y dy by dx d square y by dx square and d cube y by dx cube so basically we need to find f0 f0 would be found by place putting 0 in this place so basically ln 5 plus 0 so this would be ln 5 now f prime 0 would be putting 0 in this equation of dy by dx you will get 3 by 5 now for f double prime x we'll have to put 0 in this equation so you'll get minus 9 by 5 square which would be yeah basically you can just keep on writing it like that and for f of tri f triple prime 0 we'd have to put 0 over here you'll get 54 divided by 5 cube now you can write the exp is the Maclaurin series expansion of ln 5 plus 3x by using this formula we already know the values of f naught f0 f prime 0 f double prime 0 and f triple prime 0 we just place them here you get ln 5 plus 3 by 5x now for this you'd have to put 2 factorial underneath so th this would become 9 by 50 and in the same way this would become 9 by 125 and that's the answer 
and for part C instead of ln uh, instead of ln 5 plus 3x you have ln 5 minus 3x so every alternating term will have a different sign this one will have a different sign and this one will have a different sign so the alternating signs see this sign would be the same for both the second sign is different then you have the third sign which is the same fourth sign will again be different fifth sign will be the same and so on the main reason behind this is here x has become negative the first expression doesn't have x so it doesn't change In the second expression you have minus x instead of x so you'll get a minus over here in the third expression x is squared so even if it's negative it's gonna be squared and the sign will remain the same the third expression there are three x so this would again change the sign so the sign is changed over here and here now in part c they want this expression ln 5 plus 3x divided by ln 5 minus 3x we already know ln 5 plus 3x and ln 5 minus 3x separately so we and we also also using the logarithmic rules we know that we can write this expression as like this so we all we know this and this we know both of these terms and we can just use the series uh, expansions of both of them for ln f 5 plus 3x this would be the expression we have already found this in part b and for this we have found this in part c and we know this is this so we add both of them uh, subtract and we get 6 by 5x plus 18 by 125 x cube because this uh, no this 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 cuts out leaving this so you'll have 3 by 5x minus minus 3 by 5x basically 3 by 5x plus 3 by 5x and for this we'll have plus 9 by 125x cube minus minus 9 by 125x cube so basically getting this expression as the final answer and that would be it